hello welcome everybody and thank you for watching my channel this time by request of a user who commented on one of my guides i am going to try <laughs> and i'll emphasize i'm going to try to explain the basic mechanics of dungeons and dragons online now since the expansions and updates this game has gotten even more complex and if you are a new player my advice to you is firstly um, open your browser and go to the Wikipedia on DDO and start reading because it's just a huge game and there's so many things that uh, affect uh, each other certain feats, certain skill points certain ability points, uh, s certain classes, races, all these things intermingle with each other. And all these things uh, affect each other. So basically, I, c I could spend literally hours and hours and hours trying to explain every little single thing to you. And you will probably go crazy and just dislike this video and never come back and install the game and I don't want you to do that as a beginning player uh, you should have this screen right in front of you when you create a new character if you already have a character that's fine that's good uh, you don't have to delete it uh, this is just uh, for for those who who have no character and are at this screen. This video, this first uh, video of the mechanics are gonna explain the playstyle and the classes. Now as you can see here there's four different playstyles which then access the different classes. Also, male or female is purely cosmetic and it doesn't affect uh, the gameplay whatsoever. So you can pick either male or female and it doesn't matter. Now, um, you have, as you can see here, you have melee, you have spell, you have specialist and you have iconics. Iconics uh, is pretty new to the game. It has been released in the form of expansions and it wasn't there uh, two years ago so this is a whole new playstyle you have to buy this uh, buy this uh, to unlock it so first of all um, choosing this is gonna affect who you are gonna be in the game are you gonna be a specialist are you gonna spell class or are you going to be a melee class? Now let me emphasize that in this game you can multi-class different classes together. You can have a maximum of three classes that are multi-class. So picking one of this right now at level one doesn't mean much because there's still 19 levels of other classes you will be able to take so if we're going to melee and we click next you see here fighter barbarian paladin and monk these are melee classes that do damage either by using uh, weapons or by using uh, tactical feats like the monk to stun a certain opponent and then use weapons to uh, do damage or kill them outright instantly. Um, for instance, a monk can stun certain mobs, certain enemies. A paladin can smite certain enemies, like undead. A barbarian has another uh, feature. He can go into a rage, do more damage, get bonuses to strength, get bonuses to constitution and all kinds of things uh, and a fighter can use different boosts and uh, attack faster do more damage a certain period of time 
um, go into a surge, um, all kinds of different things. So these are the classes that are in the melee section. But if we were to go to specialist and you see ranger, rogue, bard and artificer is a premium feature, you have to unlock that you can also make a ranger that is melee based so a ranger could theoretically be in this this area right here, melee because a ranger doesn't have to use longbows per se a ranger, you can um, you can make a ranger that wields long swords. You can make a ranger that wields other weapons. You can make a dwarf ranger that that two uh, that uh, uses two uh, weapon fighting with uh, dwarven axes. You can use um, all kinds of different stuff on all kinds of different different classes and that is what makes this game so complex the options taking a certain feat um, and if you select that wrongly you are stuck with this feat the whole game you might be able to switch it out but uh, then again uh, you need to have a certain item to do that so that's the melee classes right here. Now we go to spell uh, spell classes. You have sorcerer, which use uh, a small, uh, well, a reasonably uh, tiny amount of uh, spells to do a huge amount of damage, and you can. Uh, go to a certain school like for instance acid or uh, fire or water and you will do more damage in that school particularly uh, sorcerers are great for soloing and they do a huge amount of damage and they're easy class so if you are a beginner uh, it would not be an unwise idea to to make a sorcerer because they are uh, they require only one stat charisma and um, they're easy to play uh, you don't need to, to worry much about uh, picking feats uh, you just need a, a couple of feats to do well and they're just a great class for the beginning player now there's cleric cleric is a healing class they are healers and they heal the party themselves the best and this is what makes them very strong they can also use uh, damage spells um, I do not recommend you making a healer if you are a beginning player but if you really want a healer that's fine but just read about them and um, read about the feats and the skills they need to, in order for them to work. Wizard. Wizards have more spells than sorcerers do. They uh, do not use charisma as their main stat, but they use intelligence, which gives them more uh, mana, uh, spell points, and it gives them better uh, uh, DCs on their spells. And a wizard is also an easy class for the beginning player. Now there's favorite soul. Favorite souls are kind of the sorcerer of the healing class. They get less spells, but they get more spell points, and they are uh, just a little bit uh, well, not better, but they are um, uh, they are more um, more uh, how do you say that precise in in the certain spells they get. So they are a little bit more focused in certain things. They also get some nice enhancements. There's Druid. This is a class you have to buy. 
so don't worry about that too much because there's lots of stuff you uh, need to buy or should buy but uh, the game is uh, is uh, just uh, just as much fun as it is without buying stuff now we're gonna go, go to specialist there you have rangers rangers are very versatile class they have some spells and they can do a huge amount of damage they can use ranged weapons like you saw right there using bows and they can also switch to two weapon fighting which they get uh, inherited feats for so uh, making a ranger as a beginning player is not a bad idea because they are um, reasonably easy to make and um, you cannot mess them up uh, well it's 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 you can mess up any class really bad but there's there's not too many uh, important choices to make as a ranger so you can actually uh, do a fairly good job as making this your first class rogues are uh, expert class and they require skills and they can use stealth to disarm traps make traps and all kinds of stuff uh, they are also good for multi-classing they do um, sneak attack damage they g inherit that feat that they do more sneak attack damage when a mob is not attacking them um, they are very very good for multi-classing um, it's an expert class in my opinion um, you should not make a rogue if you are a new player because it's hard to make a, a good de goodly designed rogue and um, if you have no clue about the game usually um, you see a lot of rogues in Dungeons Dragons that are very bad and they just only do traps and stuff and the players have no clue on what to do with them um, and which is sad because a rogue can be really really good but it just takes takes a lot of time to uh, understand the game and how, how the classes work now there's bard bard is also uh, a good beginning class because a bard is very versatile and very powerful a bard can fascinate and control certain enemies with his guitar and then you can just walk through a whole quest by not attacking or killing a single mob because the mobs are controlled and fascinated and it lasts for minutes and the DC on it the uh, the spell basically um, how hard it is to resist for a mob t for that certain spell or song is are very high and easy to get very high because they are based on a certain skill perform of the bard so here you have all these different classes and these different classes have all different different kinds of um, they need different kinds uh, kinds of stats they need different kinds of uh, races uh, and it's all up to you as the player to make and this is what makes Dungeons and Dragons Online so much fun but also why a lot of players do not uh, play this game because it's so hard um, to make uh, well if you're a beginning player and you have no idea on what to do then it's very hard for you to make a, make a working character so I recommend uh, watch my next guides then I'll explain the next step of character creation um, to sum it up in a nutshell these are the playstyles and they don't mean much because even a spell class like the wizard you can multi-class this wizard with say a fighter right so you have a wizard fighter and you can pick certain feats that make him use um, long swords or heck a great axe maybe you want to make yourself a wizard barbarian it's all possible it depends on what feats you take and 
what kind of race you take to make it work. Um, so you might you might want to make uh, uh, a healer, but that healer uh, you want him to wield uh, uh, two weapons and do some damage on melee as well. Well, that's okay. You can do that. You just make a cleric and you multi-class him into a fighter because fighter gets more feats and they get some just some great stuff and they get proficiency in all weapons well that's totally up to you and then you decide what race he is going to be is he going to be a human for the extra feat and the versatility or is he going to be an elf or is he going to be a warforged or is he going to be a dwarf for more health that's all up to you you decide what are you going to make and you decide on your character on what its purpose is going to be now that's 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 this first video and i hope you have learned something if not i'm very sorry um already recorded like four videos i wasn't happy with <laughs> because uh there's just so much to tell i'm gonna um close this video off and then I'll uh, post the next step in character creation so basically these are the different playstyles these are the classes you can you can take and they all do different things the bard uses songs and spells the rogue uses uh, stealth uh, he can sneak attack mobs and he's very precise in what he does he has very good saves uh, so um, he can uh, avoid much damage if he saves a ranger uh, is a bit like the rogue he's he's, he's, he's a little bit more uh, a specialist class uh, uses longbows or two uh, weapon fighting uh, uh, weapons like dual long swords dual scimitars and stuff uh, he has certain spells he can heal himself a little bit bard can heal himself very well a bard is also a healing class. Rogue cannot do that. Rogue is just a, v a very uh, uh, distinct class and uh, has no spells. However, if you multi-class, then you get more options. So that's basically um, what's uh, what this is about. And uh, hopefully, you will check my next video. And that will go more into depth into uh, your path and your uh, races. And take it easy guys and uh, hopefully um, you like this video, leave a comment, spread my channel around for new players of Dungeon Dragons Online, I appreciate it very much. Um, if you have advice or cr criticism just leave it in the comments and I'll try to do my best on uh, making it uh, better so take it easy and be sure to check out the next video